Avast, it's time for the best pirate games you can play right now. Whether you're looking for a true pirate simulator where you can load the cannon, raise the mainsail, or something a bit more comedic, we've collected the best hook-handed, peg-legged, talking all R's experiences in one place. You could even do a loot play. Okay, sorry, that'll be the last pirate pun, we promise. Although, that's probably what a marauder would say. Let's face it, if we were ranking our best pirate games, Sea of Thieves would be teetering at the very top of the mast alongside the Jolly Roger. Rare's ultimate You Hire Me Up is the ultimate sea dog simulator with pals or alone. It's been consistently updated since launch, but one of the main draws is just how granular this experience is. Board your galleon and you'll need to raise the anchor, adjust the sails and satisfyingly adjust your course for peak wind management. Having someone at the crow's nest letting you know where to go for your quest for buried treasure is pure pirate teamwork, and there's a genuine sense of excitement as you gaze at the horizon. Add in pets and all manner of absurd pirate outfits, and the sheer joy of playing the hurdy-gurdy together, and Sea of Thieves is the opposite of walking the plank. Raise your skull and crossbone tattooed hand if you're still singing sea shanties in the shower because of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Don't worry, you're not alone. Ship combat has become a staple of the Assassin's Creed series since, but it's the salty adventures of Edward Kenway that are the purest of the pirate experiences. Just like Sea of Thieves, it's the feel of Black Flag that's astonishing. The fact that you can get distracted by shark hunting or dart between diving bells as you pillage underwater wrecks, and nothing feels as exhilarating as swinging aboard an enemy ship to combo up your cutlass and dual wield pistols. Sure, there's still a fully fledged AC story here, but from the get-go, you can treat those blue waters as pure pirate adventure, digging for treasure and endlessly upgrading your ship, the Jackdaw. Get ready to swash even more buckles with Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. This isometric RPG effortlessly combines a traditional pirate adventure with fantasy elements on a mission to track a rogue god across a sprawling map. Just as you'd expect from RPG Masters Obsidian, choice is the first order of the day here and it genuinely feels like your own personal adventure with a unique character whose decisions do truly make a difference. At the same time, there are plenty of ways to scratch those pirate itches if you're hungry to battle Harry Housen style skeletons and monsters aboard your trusty ship. Prepare to fully ignore your main quest and head out into the uncharted waters to find out what lies waiting across the archipelago. The balance of gods and galleons is bold, but effortlessly pays off, and you're probably going to want to play at least once just more to find out what could have happened if you'd behaved differently. Very few games can get away with having an exclamation mark in the title, but we'll absolutely make an exception for Sid Meier's Pirates. Sorry, PIRATES! Released back in 2004, this strategy game is actually a remake of the 1987 original, and takes us to the rum-scented Caribbean to do all the things that pirates do best. This means sword fights, naval battles, dancing, pillaging ships, and sailing across a sweeping map of potential. It's now firmly in classic territory, but Sid Meier's Pirates walked with its peg legs so that the Sea of Thieves could run, and the sheer excitement of setting sail hasn't lost any of its thrill. X very much still marks the spot on this one, even if you will feel a bit like you've stepped back in time when you load it up on your iPad or PC. Truthfully, we could choose any of the Monkey Island games and they'd be at home on this list. LucasArts classic games adventure wield as much staying power as they do the pirate cutlasses. There's a reason why a new sequel is on the way 30 years later. This special edition is a graphically updated version of the classic 1990s point and click with fresh dialogue recordings from the original cast, new art and a brilliantly remastered musical score. Once again, we're back in the Caribbean. Those pesky pirates just love it, don't they? Questing to become the ultimate swashbuckler as Guybrush Threepwood. And as ever, there's a perfect balance of brilliant humor with inventive puzzling. Plus, if you get stuck, now you'll at least be able to Google the answer, unlike back in the 1990s when it was released. 
a full year before the internet was even a thing. In those days, the solution may as well have been look at the bottom of Davy Jones's locker. Finally, let's appreciate TT Games for the fact that the studio single-handedly revolutionized movie-to-game adaptations. LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean the video game is a perfect example of the brilliant combination of laugh-out-loud humor and sheer joy to be found in the studio's entirely plastic, brick-based games. This entry includes all four of the movies, yep, we forgot there were four too, and lets you take to the seas on the hunt for gold studs and adventure. As with all the LEGO games, puzzles here are all about destroying as many things as possible and rebuilding to progress, and there's local multiplayer too, so you can even grab a sword with friends to take on the nefarious Captain Barbosa. And of course, no trip to Disney's Gold Tooth Ride is complete without a jaunt to Tortuga. Drink up me hearties, yo-ho! So that's the best pirate games to play right now. Did that fly all the right flags for you? If not, mark your own X in the comments below for any treasures we might have missed.